storm warnings across Franklin County this morning. Here's what we're looking at the bottom line. Rain out there right now uh, becomes a wet snow by around noon, and it's not so much uh, the snow moving in. It's the rate at which it will be falling. It's going to last only a few hours, but it's going to come down pretty fast, and that's where we could pick up about two to five inches out there across the area. Not out of the question. We'll have the air lifting very fast. We could hear a rumble of thunder. You can get thunder and snow when the air lifts very strong. It's like a thunderstorm, but it's in the snow. It's very rare, but it's not out of the question. All right, so keep your ears and eyes on the weather today, and we'll definitely be doing it this morning. It's already raining. It's been raining for about 12 hours. There are some heavier bands now starting to come out of the southwest uh, from Floyd County in the Greensboro Winston-Salem this morning. We'll widen the view and color code where that change over the snow is. If you remember the forecast earlier this week, we said it's going to come in as rain. It'll be a little a little too warm. We made it above 50 yesterday or the day before and then uh, we're looking at the mild weather wrapping around the area of low pressure which is down here across Nashville, Tennessee right now. That low is going to go right to Bristol just south of Franklin County in Roanoke and then it moves out to sea where it will strengthen with time today. But as it spins counterclockwise we're going to be on this northern shield of moisture. It's a pretty solid area and when we talk about where we want to be for uh, getting a good amount of moisture and a good amount of energy to make moisture, you do do want to be on the northern side of that low. So we're in a pretty good uh, window here. It looks like half of it though is going to be in the form of rain. The other half will get a chance of accumulating snow as some of that colder air moves in on the back side. So already some travel problems reported this morning from Kentucky and the Tennessee. And if you follow that into the, uh, the southwest Virginia area, kind of looking at the loop here, it's about three hours. Uh, it does appear we're going to get at least several hours of some pretty heavy snow. And again, it'll be a wet snow. Now, as far as accumulations, I mentioned Rocky Mount, Franklin County, I think on the order of two to five inches. Uh, because of the track of the low, it kind of skirts Galax in the southern end of the county. I mentioned most of the moisture is on the northern side, so that's going to put Radford, Pulaski, Withill, northern neck of the Allegheny Highlands here in the four to eight inch range. And we'll probably see toward West Virginia, north of Covington, uh, once you go in the Stanton and the mountains in the uh, Shenandoah Valley up toward uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia, Winchester, six to ten inches there. Not the case here. And in fact, if you go south of Rocky Mount, you may only get an inch at most. And that's because once it's once the system slides on through the area on the back side of it just in time for everything to change the snow wind will come off the mountains and because of the Blue Ridge here the wind will come down and it could dry up a little bit so we could see it kind of skip uh, Martinsville and Rocky Mount a little bit before it redevelops toward Gretna and Halifax and points north uh, so that's what we're looking for today but all in all it's going to be a day of transition you'll see that rain like somebody flip a switch around lunchtime and it should come down really hard uh, through the early afternoon and part of the evening anyway 34 if you're traveling the Roanoke today and the snow Snow gets progressively heavier the farther north you go. Uh, the temperatures are colder there and we'll see more accumulation. 29 Covington, uh, Lynchburg today at 37, 39 Danville. Even if you're in Martinsville, Danville today, you are going to see a period of that rain changing to snow, although it may not stick all that much in south side. Blacksburg, Radford about 30. Same story in Galax. Here at home, we're looking at temperatures mid-30s for Rocky Mount. They're going to be tumbling out there of time today. 34 Boone's Mill, 34 Callaway in the Fair, 36 into Henry. And we're looking at another cold day along the lake shore at 35, 36 Pinhook, and 37 for Snow Creek. Here it is on the water vapor showing us the flow of the atmosphere. And we had the rain come through last night. That's now right to our east on the coast. This is the system that we're watching kind of spinning here. Look at it there like a bowling ball coming right at us. Not a tremendous flow out of the Gulf, but we're manufacturing within the system some cold air uh, and then some snow. You can see it right there crossing uh, the plateau in Kentucky. So we're looking at what's called dynamic cooling. This is kind of a brief but scientific explanation of what happens. How are we going to change this over the snow? It's kind of hard to do. Down near the ground, gravity holding all the air molecules close together. That makes things warmer. As you go up in the sky, the air expands. And when you lift that air, and we're going to have some strong lift today, what you do is you take a parcel of air near the ground, and as that lifts, it expands and gets cooler. It's going to take it from about 33, 34 down to about 32, 31. That one to two degrees, it makes all the difference between just a regular old rain 
and a heavy wet snow and we'll have that happening as that takes place and that low crosses the area today. Plenty of blue on the back side to go along with it, so we're optimistic if you love snow that we'll have it out there. Behind this, we finally get some quiet weather for the rest of the week. So two to five inches today. The rain next few hours, if you're watching this live, will start to mix with snow and then we'll start to see a burst uh, literally coming down pretty hard for a couple of hours anyway of the heavy wet snow. 35 degrees winds north at 10. They'll start to gust tonight up to about 15, 20 miles an hour. Lows at 26. Any lingering moisture would just be snow showers, I think, as we start to see it dry up for Thursday. Partly cloudy skies and highs near 40. Uh, we'll keep it at uh, 20s for lows into the next several days. Friday, a little clipper could bring us some flurries, but that won't be a big deal right now. Uh, overnight low about 30 going into the weekend. Right now, it looks like a fairly mild weekend. Saturday and Sunday should be a bit breezy. We'll see partly sunny skies and highs near 48. Overnight lows, upper 20s to around 30. So be advised, and hey, the uh, web address right here, let me get out of the way. Facebook.com, Jamie Singleton. will be bringing you updates on Facebook all day long as the uh, rain should change the snow uh, for your Wednesday afternoon and stick in several places. We'll be right back. More Rise and Shine coming your way after this.